Hello, I'm here. I showed up today. So if you watched my video where I redesigned my old Sonic OC named Lemon Square, which you totally should because that video was so fun to make, you might remember I offhandedly mentioned that I had so much art of this character, I could make an old art tour of just pictures of her. Well, that's exactly what this is. I have to say that this isn't anywhere close to all the art I have of this character. I literally had to pick some of the pieces I found especially funny or just fun to share, because if I showed every single piece of art I have of her, this video would literally be an hour long. Basically, I'm saying let me know if you want a part two of this, because I promise I can provide that. And a part three. And a part four. Anyway, because Lemon Square the Rabbit was my main character, she was my favorite to draw, roleplay, all that stuff. I wanted her to be in every situation ever, essentially. Every trope, every outfit, and boy does that chill. She had a terminal case of Mary Sue main character syndrome, but I didn't care literally at all. I had so much fun with her, and isn't that what matters? Okay, enough stalling. It's time to start the cringe fest. Warning, you might cringe at this old terrible art. Let's begin. We're gonna start off strong. Here's our first image from January 2010. This is a lot to take in. First off, yes, to her right are the lyrics of Princess When Doves Cry in the default Photoshop CS3 font. Why? I, uh, think I just liked the song, and I was like, oh, it has cry in the title and she's crying. No one can compare to my artistic genius. This is Lemon's first look, which was literally yellow cream the rabbit with a stripe down her forehead. I kind of like how I didn't even try on the hand here. Like, I was like, eh, fuck it. I don't know how to draw that shit. Just make it a circle and call it a day. I also like how her head is literally a perfect circle. Really setting another unrealistic beauty standard for women here, huh? This looks like I did it in 10 minutes, because I probably did. But hey, I feel like there's worse things in this world than Lemon Square crying to when Dove's cry is on the right. Here's our second picture. This one is from February 2020. This is the only picture I've pulled that has this trait, but you see those eyes? Those really weird eyes that have bad shapes cut out of them for no reason? Yeah, I was obsessed with those and drew all my characters like that for like a month. Clearly, I didn't have any real friends because no one told me it's actually the worst thing ever. Aside from the fact this looks, uh, really bad, if you accept it for what it is, it's kind of cute. Like, I get the idea. She's supposed to be a cheerleader. This was actually for an alpha challenge, and I think this was only one I did before I got bored and gave up. It was a 30 alpha challenge, so 1 out of 29, or 30, is definitely an F. But hey, I'd probably get a participation prize. I'm also kind of obsessed with the background, actually. Like, giving me very let's see how many Photoshop gradient effects I can add in before I need to photo stop. Also, gonna give myself a pat on the back for this one, but the ears and the ponytail? Kind of a cute look. Poorly executed. But the idea was there. And now we're coming back to January 2010 for this winner right here. This actually went along with the really bad fanfiction I wrote about a bunch of my Sonic OCs. And this really isn't the video to get into that literary masterpiece. But in the fanfiction, Lemon had to go to the hospital. So of course I had to draw it because I was in the obsessed with OC suffering phase. Here's what super tickles me about this one. She's supposed to be in the hospital. The image title is quote, Lemon Square in the hospital. But for some reason, the doctors just left her there bleeding out. Like she has a bandage on her head, but it looks like she's bleeding from a major artery or something. Also, they kept her in a torn up dress that somehow doesn't have any blood on it at all. Like, if this were a real hospital, she should definitely give it a 0 out of 10 stars on Yelp. I don't think you can rate hospitals on Yelp. But I think she should be the one to start the trend because, wow. It's... Is this funny to literally anyone else but me? Because I find this hilarious when you go to the hospital but they just leave you there bleeding out. <laughs> okay, we're apparently not done with making Lemon Square miserable. So here's her crying with an extremely shitty snowing effect behind her. 
It, it's not even snow. It's a blurry polka dot background with a big white stripe at the bottom. Honestly, I wish I knew the context of this picture. This is from May 2010, and I cannot tell you what the hell is happening here. My girl's looking pretty distressed here, but I don't know, not like too distressed. Like, not they left me bleeding out at the hospital kind of distressed, but the distress that's like, I was trying to buy something online and it sold out in my cart before I could check out properly. I like that I'm trying to make my shading better and find a light source though. Still haven't found it, but hey, can't say I didn't try. And also we stopped with the really creepy eyes, so uh, thank god for that. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, this one is a lot, and that's why I felt like I had to include it. So much is happening here. Let me see if I can explain myself. This is from August 2010, and the orange rabbit here is Lemon's ex-boyfriend Citrus. Basically, he hated her for dumping him and wanted to make her life miserable. That being said, I'm still like, what the fuck is this? Why does she look like she's like about to fall asleep? Why is he holding her face with one hand while his other disappears into the void? Why is his arm apparently made out of fucking rubber? Hers doesn't even look long enough to be an arm! I don't know, I felt like I had to include this because of how absolutely ridiculous it looks. What the hell is this? I have no explanation for myself. Just laugh at it with me. We finally have Lemon Square getting a break and being happy for once. This is from June 2010, and as you can see, I still have this weird fascination with putting song lyrics on only the right side of the image. Except this time the song is Because the Night. I remember being so proud of this when I made it. I thought it was the cutest thing ever and I was obsessed with it. And yeah, of course it has tons of flaws in it, but I don't know, I still think it's kind of cute. I think it's a little weird that she's singing in the abyss with a random spotlight being shined on her and also there's a lens flare that's somehow reflecting off the spotlight and breaking the laws of physics. But hey, still cute. You go, Lemon Square. Glad I drew you in other emotions other than miserable. Don't mind the big black blob here. The other character I drew in this picture belongs to someone I no longer talk to, so I didn't want to blast my old ugly art of their character on YouTube. Anyway though, I'm still sharing this because this was my second magnum opus. The cream of the crop. I had this open every day on my screen so I could stare at it. This was drawn September 2010 and oh my god I loved it so much. That basic photoshop grass brush, really thought I did something with that. Thought the fact that I was so big brain to think of using it made me like a real artist. Poorly drawn fireflies, bitch don't even get me started. I remember being so proud of figuring out how to draw them like that. One of them isn't even a circle, but I was still proud of her too. I drew this after coming home from catching fireflies with my friends, and I felt like I created the, something that belonged in the MoMA. Like I longed to feel that intense pride I had in this picture again, because wow, I really loved this one. Uh, this was from July 2010, and this is definitely the picture that made me gay. Not really, but maybe a little bit. <laughs> okay, I remember drawing this like, haha, it's a crack ship and it's funny because they're both girls, right? Look how funny I'm being, putting so much effort into this picture for a joke. Ha <laughs> so funny! Yeah, I really pulled a good joke on myself with that one. Anyway, what makes this picture especially funny is that the fact that these two characters were supposed to hate each other. The pink rabbit is also mine, her name is Claire, and her whole thing was she wanted to date Lemon's boyfriend so bad, so she hated Lemon. So my little brain goes, wow, they hate each other. What if I just drew a picture where they look like they're in love? Smiley face. Except they don't look like in love, they look like they're fucking afraid. But at least they're holding hands and blushing over it. Happy late Pride Month, guys. This picture is funny. This is from July 2010 too, and I think it's still kind of cute. What makes this funny though, is that this is titled Lemon Square at 15 years old. You could tell I was younger than 15 drawing this, because I have never met a 15 year old who looks like this. I did not look like this at 15. Where the hell did I get this idea from? But hey, I tried some new things with the bold outer line art and soft shading, and also by making her float in a pink gradient with some stock flower petal brush behind her. Honestly, living the dream life. I wish I was Lemon Square. <laughs> 
Obviously, Lemon Square has had it too good for too long. So, no, we're back to this weird shit. Why is she in a different outfit? Why is her hair drawn worse than usual? Why are her eyes red? Oh, that's easy. This is her insane form. Duh. Yeah, that's literally what this was. Should I have named this her quote insane form? No. But this is from September 2010, and I was an idiot child. This is coming from the same kid who said her persona had OCD as a joke. But, uh, oops, that's just real now. Anyway, this was from a different fanfiction I wrote about my Sonic OCs. This one was so weird. I gave Lemon this form for literally no reason. I never used it ever again. I thought it was so cool, though, for putting that flame on her shirt and that purple and red ripped outfit. Yeah, peak fashion design. If I saw her on the street, though, I'd immediately ask if she's okay. So I, I, I guess my uh, little technique here worked. Oh my god. Okay, so, remember that picture of Lemon Square in the hospital? Well, in October 2011, I redrew it. Honestly, the improvement over a year's time here is pretty good. But like, I love how I just stayed true to the original and implied the doctors just left here, here to bleed out from the chest. This image is better though, because now she has a head bandage and it has blood on it too. Is there one competent doctor in this hospital? Also, that necklace in her hand was supposed to be the one she always wore, so I have no idea why it's not on her neck and she's holding it, implying that someone took it off her neck and put it under her hand for literally no fucking reason. But I clearly learned some things about light art and shading, so hey, good on me for improving. Just for the love of God, plug up that wound with something already. And, as the last piece of this old art tour, we have this one from December 2011 of a reference of one of Lemon Square's many redesigns. I remember loving this design. I thought the pigtails were like peak design element. Personally, looking at this now, my favorite part is how she has the ability to make her scarf just weirdly float like that. Her main design trait where her ears were supposed to be huge, but I love that I just took it so far that they're almost on the same level as her feet. Really stick into the aesthetic on that one. I can respect it. Let's not look at her hands, though. I just caught a glance at them and jump-scared myself. So I hope you liked taking a peek into some of my old art. This is far from all of it. I have tons more of just Lemon Square, but I also have tons of art that aren't related to her. More Sonic OCs, Pokemon, Gajinkas, Furries. I have so much, guys. Most of it is cringe. Let me know if you want to see it. Even if you don't, I'll do it anyway. I'll force it on you. Anyway, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. It means so much if you could hit thumbs up and subscribe if you like it. But also if you want to hit that thumbs down for how many times I left Lemon Square bleeding out in the world's hospital ever, I get it. I'll see you in the next one though. Bye guys!